Okay, we are live with Coach Hoiberg. I will start questions with Sam McEwen. Hey, Fred, can you hear me okay? Yeah, I got you, Sam. Super, super. Well, there's, there's probably, I mean, there was enough there for two or three games. When you think about what jumped out to you the most um, about that one, uh, where, where does your mind go first, both in a positive and in a frustrating way? Well, I think first and foremost, I thought our energy was phenomenal tonight. I thought it was where it needed to be to have a chance to win that game. And, you know, against a team like this coming off three losses, which doesn't happen uh, to Tom Izzo's teams very often, to have a week to prepare, I knew they were going to come out and play hard and play with great energy. But I thought we, uh, you know, really battled them and, you know, fought all the way through it, even when we had the bad stretch, which, again, I, you know, just continues to be a theme for our team, the starts of the second half. Uh, to allow them to stretch the lead, and then we figure it out and get back into the game. We have to find a way to figure that out. Uh, so that would be one of the frustrating things to me, Sam, is you know continuing to come out. And I didn't like the energy. Uh, you know, I didn't think Teddy came out with the right mentality, and we got him out. And then when I put him back in, he was unbelievable. Uh, you know, as, as good as he's been all season. So we just have to find a way, you know, to get the full, full 40 minute. Uh, you know, everybody being on the same page. We talked about two things in this game, three things, transition, uh, defense, which they exposed us in that area, especially during that run, offensive rebounds, which we were phenomenal in the first half, only giving them one offensive rebound. Uh, but we gave them eight in the second, two critical ones there at the end. We just turned our head and allowed Langford to go in there and get the put back with a five-point game. You get that, you come down and you score, give it one possession, and you know, it could have been a different outcome. And then the turnovers. You know, we continue to turn it over uh, too many times. But you know, again, our energy was was outstanding. I thought we got the ball to the right guys when they had it going with Trey and Teddy uh, specifically. Kobe, I thought, was really good for us off the bench. Lat, unfortunately, fouled out in the 15 minutes. But you know, for him to step up and knock down that uh, out of bounds play we ran for him in the corner uh, was huge for him uh, to knock that down and hit two out of three. So you know, just again, got to find a way to play complete 40 minutes. But I thought we took a step in the right direction tonight. <clears throat> Michael Brenst. Hey Fred, when you kind of looked at what they were doing, were they really working hard to take away Delano tonight, or, or what did you kind of see what Michigan State was doing there? Yeah, they did. I, you know, Delano, I thought, you look at his numbers, he had seven assists. I, I thought he did a good job of you know, finding guys. We shoot almost 50% uh, from the field, 53 in the second half, and you know, almost 50 uh, from the three. So you know, I thought Delano did a good job recognizing guys that had the hot hand tonight and getting them the ball. Uh, would like to clean up the four turnovers uh, that he had, but you know Delano, I thought had a solid game as far as his playmaking is concerned. So, you know he's going to get a lot of attention because of the type of numbers that he's putting up. But from a playmaking standpoint, I thought I thought he was excellent. Robin Rush. Hey, uh, Trey McGowns looked like a guy that was kind of determined not to lose tonight just from start to finish. What did his energy do for the rest of the team, especially with the way that he was continuing to fight in the second half when things were starting to get away? Yeah, Trey, Trey was phenomenal uh, pretty much start to finish. He had a couple where he got a little out of control, uh, one turnover where he drove it into three guys. But you know that's how he got himself going. That's how he got the team going with his aggressive attack. Tonight, we cleared out the right side of the floor for him. He went in, had the N1 uh, highlight dunk. Uh, you know, so I love Trey's mentality. And if, if we can continue to get him to do that, he's shooting the ball uh, very well, knocked down both of his threes again tonight. I'd like him to continue to hunt that with the way that he's shooting the ball. Uh, that's the time where I think he gets himself in a little bit of trouble when he turns that down and then maybe drives it uh, into the crowd. But, you know, overall, Trey, uh, I thought played his most complete game. I, I thought his aggressiveness and his attack uh, was exactly where it needed to be. Connor Happer. It, were your guys forced to kind of uh, respond to their energy with the, you know, they were kind of chanting, they were making a lot of noise, um, slapping the floor, stuff like that. How do you feel like your guys responded to that? And, and is that different than what other teams have been showing you so far this year? I did think we responded to it. Uh, you know, I, I just, we got to find a way to cut out that little stretch that's that's killing us every night. And, you know, for the last couple, it's been that first uh, stretch in the second half. Really, tonight was the end of the first, beginning of the second. You cut that out, we win the game. And, uh, you know, very important. You got to start the game right, end the, end, end the half, start the second half, and end the game. 
uh, you know, there's got to be the most important stretches. And, you know, right now, we didn't, tonight, we didn't end the first half well, and we started the second half flat again. We got to fix that. I don't know what the answer is because it continues to happen. We're pulling our hair out trying to figure out why it continues to happen because then we figure it out. We pull our, uh, you know, pull our energy up and, and we get back into the game. Uh, you know, but climbing out of that hole requires a lot of energy. And, you know, then at the end of the game, instead of being down six, hopefully you're up and, and finding a way to close out those games. Uh, but that's the important part for us right now is figuring out our starts in the second half because we're starting the game well uh, pretty much every, every night. It's finding a way to, to eliminate that one stretch uh, that we're having every night, whether it's the first five minutes or the second five minutes of the second half, playing a complete game and finding a way to win. Robin Washit. I know this is still a fourth straight loss. Um, you know the outcome wasn't what you wanted, but considering how things went at Ohio State, how ugly that game got, and the fact that you were down 17 in the second half and responded the way that you did tonight, I mean, I don't want to say moral victory, but is that something that you can kind of take away? Just that that rally back to make it from 17 to five, something that can be looked at as a positive that you can build upon, even though it didn't come in a victory. It's a step in the right direction for sure, Robin. Or there's no doubt about that. And that was the big thing tonight. I talked to him about, you know, whether you win or lose, you come out and you play with tremendous energy, uh, which I thought we did, with exception of that one little stretch. And uh, you know, it's also you got to look at this thing, big picture. We just finished playing our fourth ranked team in a row uh, in this league, and I thought we battled harder and were more physical. I thought Ivan was really good. I thought he was much better than he was against Ohio State, where I thought he just gave ground uh, in there as that game wore on. Uh, you know, we'll get Derek back next game. That will help. We'll get another physical body uh, in there. Now, he's probably not going to be ready to play a ton of minutes, but it'll be good to have uh, Derek back on the floor for us to add you know, more physicality and more size uh, out there for us. But 100%, we took a step in the right direction tonight, playing a team that was coming off three losses in a row, had a week to prepare. You can see, obviously, what they talked about from an energy standpoint, but I thought we matched it for the most part. Last question to Sam McEwen. Hey, Fred, you know, when it comes to, uh, to Teddy, what, what, what did you see that you didn't like right there early in the second half? And then when he goes back in and he does a lot of good things, there still is a stretch there, I don't know, about 10 minutes in where he's clearing the floor out and he's taking some deep shots. Is that what you want him to do in that moment because he's feeling it? How do you sort of ride that that wave that he can sometimes go on? Yeah, when, when he gets it going, obviously he can score the ball in bunches. And, uh, you know, he can string together five or six in a row. Uh, the, the one he took from about five, six feet behind on the left left slot, uh, over there, that's the one that we got to eliminate because, you know, other than that, I thought his attack was great. I thought he took shots at the line uh, where he had some space. And when he's got space and he has it going like he did, uh, you know, we don't mind those shots. Uh, you know, as far as, you know, early in that second half, I just didn't think, you know, the urgency was there with Teddy. I thought he tried to do a little bit too much out of the, you know, outside of the flow of the offense where when he was scoring, you know, we were running a play where he would fake a handoff and then have an opportunity to attack, which he was phenomenal in. You know, as good as he's played all year in that stretch against a great defensive team. Uh, you know, so again, it's just the consistency overall of everybody. And then everybody does their job individually, collectively. Uh, we find a way to get the win. That concludes our pit session with Coach Hoiberg.